Hey Joel, let's talk about design patterns. It's like we're in the cloud somewhere. Yeah, this is the, the Microsoft Azure cloud. They, they released an interesting poster for all the interesting patterns you can apply in the, in the cloud. What exactly is the cloud? Yeah, I'm not sure. Nobody, nobody knows. It's like blockchain, and, and but then the old-fashioned way with, with physical devices connecting to the internet. Yeah, I think it's something like, for some reason, companies used to put these servers in their companies and store all the information on the server that was in their company, and then they said, why are we doing this? We can just put it in the cloud. Right, so basically it means they, they lost they, they lost their servers, they don't know where they are anymore, so they just refer to, to them the cloud way, right? Pretty much, yeah. Someone else runs the servers, and but that can be a decrease in the marginal cost of deployment and maintenance. Exactly. So you get rid of your IT and admin people, and uh, you replace them with more developers. Yeah. And these and these developers, they need some they need some guidance, like how do how do they need to respond to this new world and all well, this. Yeah, I mean, web applications can get very large, right? And have a lot of moving parts, and particularly now that we're talking about blockchains and yeah. Internet of Things and hardware, and that's a lot of different keep different parts and things to keep track of. So. Yeah, so there are all kinds of reliability, scalability issues. How are you communicating with multiple applications that are asynchronously calling each other, responding to behavior, you, how you're going to update your, your systems, how can you switch them yeah. from one implementation to another one. Uh, let me see if you think this is fair to say, Joris, but it could be said that all this blockchain stuff so far has really just been proof of concepts and we've gone the best maybe prototype stage, but no one has really built applications that are really doing anything that significant. No, I think that's fairly true. This is just... Uh, a lot of hobby projects and first yeah. attempts, but uh, the, the real the, the real infrastructure and best practices are, are not there yet. We're just discovering them on the fly. Yeah. Um, and so things like uptime and scalability and reliability and audit trails and things like that are probably going to become more important. Yeah, and that's I mean that's that's what one of the one of the key features of, of, of this technology, right? So it's proving. Guaranteed uptime and 100% reliability between contracts on the same platform, even if underlying devices are going up and down. But, uh, but yeah, I do, I do wonder. Like in three years from now, will these platforms themselves will they still still be in existence? Well, you have sort of dynamic versioning at the same time. So if you have some IoT devices that with or have some embedded smart contracts, and you have some governing smart contracts, and you have some. DAOs that are performing some service and they're in different incompatible versions, so they may all be up, but it doesn't mean that yeah. they're performing the function that you expected or yeah. something. Yeah. So, so let's, let's take a look at these uh, three circles. What are those three circles? Yours? <laughs> I can tell they have different colors. They have so. different colors, right? So we have the green circle, the red circle, and the blue circle. Yes. I, Seems we, we thought we thought of a couple of patterns out there, and we, I tried to categorize them in, in three categories. So the the green one are data related, mm -hmm. data related patterns. So like the the, the name registry, mm -hmm. uh, event logs, all handling data and, and, and naming information, name registry, identity, track record, auditing of uh, of these kind of things. And the the red circle, those are transaction and value related. So multi-signature, exchanging currency, escrow, uh, asset tokens, having to deposit some some kind of value, um, fan in, fan out. Uh, yeah. That's all related to, to value and uh, value tr being transferred. Mm -hmm. And then the blue circle, that's related to, to triggers and actions. I like see. The, the alarm implementation, so how can something gets frequently called, um, external control, handling control mm -hmm. to another device. Uh, triggering events, enterprise triggers, garbage collection, and yeah. also being, being ter terminating uh, terminating contracts. So these are the three rough areas that I think are there. So, well, I can definitely say that, I guess well, I can't say my head's in the clouds after looking at this, but maybe it's running around as multi-chains or something or running around. I, I suspect you're going to need a whole book to explain this or something. Most likely. Yeah. That's, that's where it is. Yeah.